What is going on, everyone? This is I Am Sports. Back once again. So now, the NHL offseason has quite literally gone into full swing, alright? Like, we're done looking in the past when things apparently seem so much better for the Penguins. But now, we're looking into the real off season. So this is part one of what will probably be a progressing series. As this off season goes on until like August or something. But yeah. So a few hours ago or something like that, I asked myself what are the Penguins going to do this offseason? Because honestly, Dubis has been rather quiet for a few weeks. Well, it wasn't until he signed Pustinen to a one-year contract, but yeah, other than that, no signings have really been made. for this Penguins team. So, ideally, in this video I'm going to talk about what they should ideally do. I'm not focused entirely too much on the cap space, so, like, they might not be able to do some of this stuff. But honestly, like, if they could, it would definitely benefit them for this upcoming season. For the unrestricted free agents, which means the free agents who were already signed as restricted free agent and now unrestricted free agents after those contracts had expired, or even contract after that, I don't know. So, here are a few of the players I believe the Penguins should sign as for unrestricted free agents. Obviously, you got the re signings Danton Heinen, possibly Jason Zucker. He might be a little too expensive for them to sign, but you'll have to see how that goes. And then possibly Josh Archibald. I mean, he's a nice and physical player, just like Zucker. And if he can keep that up, like that would definitely be a beneficial thing for the Penguins. But then, as for the ones who are not already on the team, there are two signings I would definitely look out for, for the Penguins. Ryan Graves and Michael Bunting. So Ryan Graves is a defenseman. I believe he has played for the New Jersey Devils for a few seasons. And since the contract is expiring, I would not be surprised if the Penguins had happened to need another defenseman. Because obviously their defense has been really flat for the past while. I mean, giving up Matheson for Petrie is just one of... Only one of the several mistakes, I guess, that Ron Hexall had made in his tenure with Pittsburgh. So then, Michael Bunting. Well, so the Penguins would have just kept Brock McGinn and uh, 
Teddy Bluger. Like, honestly, they wouldn't really need a player such as him. Because he honestly reminds me a lot of those two players. <clears throat> so, yeah, I don't know. But that, if they signed those players, that would be, like, extremely beneficial. So, for the restricted free agents, we've got the obvious ones here. Ryan Paling, Drew O'Connor, possibly Ty Smith, and then John Gruden, who could very well be prepared for the NHL sometime within the next three seasons. Hopefully. You see, Ryan Paling may very well be the fastest player on the team. So they definitely need that speed. Because they really lacked it both offensively and defensively last season. Yet Paling is still generating some decent numbers. And then Drew O'Connor is extremely similar. Ty Smith is more average, and we do not really see entirely too much of him in the IHL during the 2022-23 season. But I believe if it had a full-time, uh, like, full-time spot on the roster or the lineup then it'll be alright because he could be a good player and then obviously mock trades are mock trades but I have some I have two actually so if there's one thing the Penguins need it's a better goaltender. In case you forgot, I did forget to mention Tristan Jari and Brian Dumoulin because they will probably not be back. So, Connor Hellebuck. Like I said, when he is mistake free, he is one of the best goaltenders in the league. And you can see it through his numbers. So, I believe the Penguins should make a move for him. Before the draft, though. So this is going to have to be, like, this upcoming week. If this were to happen. I believe... The Penguins will trade their first rounder for Hellebuck. Because honestly, I'd say it's worth it. At least for a few seasons. Hellebuck should not have any application of slowing down. Also, the Penguins as I mentioned, need some better, like, bottom six forwards. Their bottom six... I mean, I can't really describe how inconsistent it has been. Sometimes it can step up when the top six is not performing well enough to carry the team. As I mentioned, Ryan Paley and Drew O'Connor are amazing players in the bottom six. But there's no supporting cast around those two. 
as far as the third and fourth line go. <clears throat> there is no supporting speed in the bottom six, at least not consistently. Of course, Jeff Carter had a few breakout games where he scored like two or almost three goals or something like that. But here's the thing. No consistency. So I believe the Penguins should trade for Brock Besser and JT Miller. The question is, at what cost? Well, here is my mock trade. So, the Penguins will receive Brock Besser and JT Miller. Then Vancouver would receive, despite their age, Mikhail Grandland and Chad Wood. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe that is going to be how their offseason should go. Some things might not work because of, like, say some of the players don't want to sign with the Penguins and so they want to go somewhere else or something like that. Or maybe the trades don't go through. But honestly, this is just a what-if scenario. I decided to experiment a little bit. So thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget, like this video, subscribe to this channel to see more content. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, peace out.